Because I think our narrative is so individualistic. But we live in a world that tries to make it homogenous. Right? So we live in a world that tries to give us one narrative, right? So, you know, this is this is starting to change, but for effect I use this, right? So, you know, people in the West used to and, and many still believe refer to Africa as the dark continent. Right? What does that mean? Right? Um, and, and what they've been able to do was through those words devalue us as people and devalue our culture and devalue our institutions and devalue our religions and just, just devalue us, right? By, by the mere words that they use and the words that they put out. We no longer go shopping. We are shopping online all the time. And this has led to a world of suffocation, where we are suffocated by the stuff that we accumulate in our lives. And the environment is carrying the weight of our greed. So if you want to ask, I know we are in a fashion week where we see a lot of amazing fashion. But this is a reminder to understand what I need all about. What I think is, um, the first thing is that it's really important to be in charge and to be the voice of your own narrative. It's, it's fundamental. It's uh, fundamental as well to continue to sharing your stories with the world and not only change the perception of the world on the continent, but to share as well knowledge, to share the way we see humanity, the way we see familiarity, the way we see society. There are a lot of things that everyone can learn from and that we have here. Talk about the music. For example, if uh, there's a Japanese musician uh, learning uh, African music and becomes very good at African music, it's in you know, one side, it's just like, uh, uh, okay, uh, she, he or she is a good learner of the African culture or African music. But from the other side, it's like a ceiling the culture. So uh, already in the uh, 1930s and 40s, uh, African-American jazz musicians uh, spoke about this, like, uh, oh, finally the white jazz music and the uh, African jazz music still are sold. Uh, and that was the first time that it was made by the African American jazz musicians. And then it was Oh, we saw this and how we saw this from this.